Hey Brick Maniacs, it's Lando here at a Designer's Desk episode and we have Dan joining us today with his Kiowa Scout helicopter. Right. So you may remember the Kiowa Warrior. Yeah. We put out a couple of months, a few months back. Uh, this is like the great grand, granddaddy of that. This is the original. This is the, the OH-58A. So this is the original. Um, it is based on the Bell Jet Ranger helicopter. So the civilian version would be the Jet Ranger, which of course in the 70s, 80s, 90s and even still used today, uh, you know, tip classic police helicopter, classic, yeah. So, but this is the military mil military version uh, called the Kiowa by the U.S. Army, um, and it is dressed up in the livery of what it would be uh, some of the scout units in Vietnam. So, the different cavalry units, different army units, artillery even use these things. Um, they would be scouting out for the enemy. Uh, a lot of times, they would be ta attached to like a Cobra gunship or Cobra attack helicopter units, these guys would be the bait. They'd oh, fly, low, fly low over uh, suspected enemy territory, and if they were shot at back, they could radio to the Cobras that would be hovering nearby and, and uh, they'd go in for the... Oh, man. Yeah, they, they would lure the enemy out into the open. Um, they did learn that at a, at a certain point that it would be really nice to have some armament on this, oh, so at nice. one point they did actually add a small minigun onto the side of, they, they just basically stuck an arm out of the side of the helicopter. There's a big ammo box in the back seat. I'd imagine they're feeling a little bit vulnerable kind of being the bait there, so. <laughs> right, and, and it's cool. This is a small helicopter. So I bet you they were feeling like pretty like, you know, cowboyish. Yeah, Because <laughs> right. when, you, when you have the, such a small maneuverable helicopter, you can fly low, you can really get in, in people's faces with this thing, and that's what they did. Um, so this is one of, there's several, the, the Army also used the, uh, the Loach, the, the uh, you know, the, the, the competitor competing helicopter with this. Um, <coughs> Army continued to use uh, the Kiowa and its derivatives all, up until just recently. They just retired, just a few years back, retired the, the remaining Kiowa fleets. So. Yeah, it's surprising going through pictures of Vietnam. I mean, you kind of think of the Huey as the quintessential helicopter, but man, this thing was everywhere as well. So. Right, right. This, you know, from like 68 on, they, they had these things uh, everywhere. There wasn't a huge amount of them because they, were, they weren't like transport helicopters, which you, you see like big swarms of. Right. Um, but these would, they would be there. They would be there for sure. You know, they not only do scouting, but you know, if you're transporting VIPs or something, this would be right. the way to go. Um, it does have all printed parts. So uh, it's, it's a lot of the same pieces that were in the Warrior, except different color scheme. Warrior, of course, was black and had, had like a subdued gray printing. This is dark gray with black printing. Um, so you do, all these pieces on here are printed. The little lightning bolt is, 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 is specific to this kit. Um, the tail rotor printed as well. And you also have printing on the main rotor, the, the, the tips of the, the rotor blades. Um, new, I don't have them in this one, but there are new printing on the interior as yeah. well. Uh, and of course, two fully printed minifigures. And you, you should... Yeah, you want to get into the minifigures yeah, or anything you else you want to go over on that? No, I mean, otherwise it's a two-seater. You put two, it comes with two figures. Yeah. Um, it's just a great little scout helicopter. Uh, the first batch did sell out like in, in, in I, don't, I wouldn't say record time, but it was quick within a few hours of being right. released. Um, so we will end up, uh, I mean not end up, I guess, it's not the right word. We will eventually have a restock of this thing uh, when time permits. So uh, look for that in the future. Yeah, it's cool. Um, so we yeah, have uh, two minifigures come with this, with this kit. Two full printed minifigures, and, and they're pretty special, aren't they? Yeah, very special, and we've been I've been waiting for this kit to come out for quite a while. Uh, just an awesome project to work on. Um, one of the, so uh, a, a, a coworker of ours, um, his, his uh, dad was actually a, a mechanic on one of these helicopters during Vietnam. So it, it was, it's been really fun to kind of go back and forth, get firsthand accounts of this, pictures. Um, he actually sent his helmet in um, I don't, from what I could tell, it was, it was just like gifted to him on the way out. I don't know if he, he wasn't like flying these things from what I understand. No, no, usually the mechanics don't, but they, right. you'd be like a crew chief. You, you would go, if the, if the helicopter was having problems, you would go up with the pilot. Right. So you would actually have like all your own flight gear as well. Yeah, so, uh, but we have this, this helmet, um, that he, he's, uh, on loan to us right now. Um, but this is, this is an original Vietnam helmet painted, um, this is kind of awesome, crazy awesome. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that 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 helicopter or that helmet actually was in field or anything, but the, it was certainly uh, came with retirement from the army. So, so he's so letting us, history with that. He's letting us, uh, <laughs> you know, use it for direct uh, reference material. So. Right, and you did actually. Yeah. Well, so, <laughs> you know what? Let, we just decided to recreate it, uh, kind of at a one thirty fifth scale. Um, 
Amanda, MN Art Girl, um, she did a wonderful job uh, getting that kind of paint. Show, turn the big helmet around. Painter look to it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, I don't know how to do get these things side by side, I don't know. <laughs> well, you can zoom in on yeah, them. Yeah, zoom in. <laughs> um, but you just have, it, it's, I really love helmet artwork. It's a lot of times just done in the field. Um, it's just pretty much the most, like lightning bolts, just cobra, like snakes. Right, right, yep. Explosions. So that's, that is a awesome. 3D printed helmet. That is our yeah. Huey, we call it the Huey helmet. This is because we, it first appeared on our Huey. Sure. Um, but it's, uh, it is a Vietnam era uh, helicopter flight helmet. Yeah, I don't know the exact designation off the top of my head. Right. Um, it's, and it's 3D printed by us. Yeah. Um, one thing that you guys should know about these 3D printed helmets, um, the material we use is sort of elasticy. So if you get the helmet and you have it on your figure for quite a while, it will actually start to stretch out and become loose. Um, you ever have that problem, take the helmet off for a couple of days, it'll actually form yeah. back. It, it, it is such a, you, the, the resin that we use for that is really durable. Uh, as opposed to the really hard, dry, crackable yeah. <laughs> resin. So we're using a, a flexible resin and it does stretch out over time. Likewise, it'll actually spring back to its original yeah. shape. So if you're having problems with your helmet being loose, just take it off, it'll, it'll, it'll tighten it back up. Right, it'll tighten it back up. Um, minifigures were, are again decked out in, a, in a, some color shifted uh, gear to get that nice Vietnam era um, color to it. Uh, the flight suits. Right? Yeah, it's like a no, no rip stop nylon kind of thing. Yeah, what is it? Nomex, I think, is the material. It's, 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 a, a, it's a flame resistant suit. So. Yeah, flame resistant. But it's uh, not really the army green. They didn't quite match the color. Right. <laughs> so um, it, it's a cool flight suit. Um, and uh, of course, the minifigures are also wearing uh, what they'd call chicken plates. So it's body armor from the era. Um, and the pilot himself would be wearing a, sur a survival vest kind of over top of that armor. Uh, you'd see that occasionally um, with pilots. Um, Are these figures unique to this kit? Yeah. So two unique figures. There you go. Right. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> everything about this, this kit is totally unique. <laughs> yeah, this was, this was a fun one to put together. So It certainly was. And, you know, people who had been following my Instagram know that I actually designed this months and months ago. Yeah. And just waiting for the opportunity to release it. You had this before the Kiowa Warrior. I built them both the same okay, time. Okay, at the same time. So, yeah. yeah. I was like, I want to do an Army original. And then, yeah. Uh, so I, I did them both. Oh, and then you, you did have some uh, additions when you were actually building this towards closer to the... To the oh, right. This, there's, it's always, always updating. Yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely... It, this, this was the, ba the, ba the basic model was built months ago, but I'm always updating right up to the last minute. So, again, this, this was a, a kind of unexpected kit to put, to, to put together. Yeah, it balances better when you get the minifigures. Right? <laughs> right. You almost need them. <laughs> Probably like a real helicopter. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> weight distribution. <laughs> um, so, there's too much ammo in the back seat. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, the Kiowa um, Scout. Kiowa Scout, yep. And you're planning on restocking this in the future? It will be restocked as soon as time permits. Okay, time so. permitting, this will, this will, we'll see a return of this, but yeah. uh, again, it, it'll go fast, so don't yeah. delay when you see it coming back <laughs> Right, yeah, definitely don't, because uh, mm. uh, it's going to be few and far between just because that's what our schedule permits. Mm. That's right, that's right. Cool. Um, with that, that's the episode. Thank you very much for watching.